all right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I wanted to talk about that Aug Vape V200. And I know there's a bunch of reviews for this already out on YouTube, but I wanted to throw my two cents in there as well. I have been using this thing like a crazy person. It has been my daily banger basically since it arrived. I like it just a whole lot. I took it to the East Coast with me and used it there. I took it to the UK with me and used it there. And I've been using it ever since I got home. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw, we're gonna be taking a look at this Aug Vape V200 mod, top to bottom. It's got a very cool sort of industrial rugged look. Apparently this is designed to look like a Honda car engine. I really just associate this design with the V200. That's how little I know about Honda car engines. But it does have this very kind of cool clamped together, big screws, industrial rugged look. This is a very rugged mod. And it's got one weird thing that I'm hoping you'll be able to see on camera. Every time I open the battery compartment, every single time, no matter what topper has been on top, whether it's a, a dripper or an RTA or anything like that, I see juice right there. Do you see this glistening juice on the bottom? Right there. There's always liquid there. It doesn't affect the mod. I haven't had any shorts or weird anythings going on. My batteries are never wet or liquidy. It just seems to condense right here at the bottom for some reason. And I have no idea why. I've wiped this battery sled off. I've wiped this battery door off at least 8,000 times since I've used this mod. You can kind of see a little bit of more juice right here. Keeping in mind for about the past, I don't know, week and a half or so, this has just been sitting in my closet on a shelf, no atomizer, no nothing attached. I wiped it off before I put it in there and there's still juice on the door and still juice in here and I genuinely don't know where it's coming from. Like I said, it's affected the performance of the mod zero, but it just keeps appearing and it's making me insane, man. But the battery door is very clearly marked. You want your positive going that way, you want your negative going that way, and it snaps shut, boom, real well. Holds on real nice. And then your whole mod kind of comes to life. It shows you everything that you need to know on the main screen. It's gonna show you your resistance, it's gonna show you the voltage that you're getting, it's gonna tell you how long you've taken a toot for, and it's going to show you a battery level indicator, big wattage right there, and this is in normal mode. I'm sure everybody knows this by now, but the button up here is kind of located just right here. It's a clicky little button press with no real button to speak of. You just kind of press it right there, and it's real nice and, and very clicky, very responsive, especially the higher up you go. If you press up here, you're just going to get solid clicks. If you kind of press down here, it's going to be a little bit more effort, but you're still going to get real solid clicks. Once you've been using it a while and you can kind of grab it and you find that little sweet spot right there, oh, it's a beautiful button. It's a beautiful clicky button. One, two, three is going to let you change the modes. You have normal mode, you have a bypass mode, you have V mode. Yeah, you can go from normal to BP, which is bypass to V mode. And V mode is supposed to give you a faster ramp up time when you're using it, but I truly and honestly go Going back and forth between normal and V mode have noticed zero difference. It's a fast, responsive mod to begin with. This little jog wheel is plastic, but it's still kind of cool. It works pretty well. You can jog it up and down to change your wattage. You can jog it down and hold it and watch those numbers fly by. You can also do it in the other direction. Just hold it and watch the numbers fly by, or you can kind of go one at a time right there. It's got a big spring-loaded 510 connection right there, and you can see this kind of weird, like, uh, I don't know, I guess it's like a honeycomb looking pattern here on the top it actually protrudes just a little bit from the mod it doesn't sit flush and I kind of wish this sat flush I'm gonna throw this loop RDA on here which is 24 millimeters and when I screw it down it sits flush with that little plate on top but that plate on top doesn't really sit flush with the mod it's not really a deal breaker honestly it's just something to be aware of if you're real real finicky with your fit and finish of your mods yeah you're gonna have a little bit of a, a raised protruding fire 510 on there. Honestly, does not bother me in any capacity. So what I want to do right now is get back out to normal view and we're going to vape this thing. Normal view, normal view. 
Rockin', rockin', rockin'. This just feels like a high performance mod to me. It gives me loads of power. It's got a responsive, responsive button, a very clicky, clicky responsive button, a very clicky, clicky hidden responsive button. Like I showed you in the Uppy Closey, you just kind of click right here, right above the display, and it's going to click and it's going to fire instantly every single time. It doesn't really look comfortable to hold, but it is insanely comfortable to hold. I like holding it like this. I like hitting the button with my thumb right here, which is weird because in most, I mean, in most all vaping situations, I like to hit the button with my finger. I like to hold the mod and hit the button with my finger. Just feels very natural to me. And with this one, you can kind of definitely hold it like this and hit it with your finger, but it's not nearly as comfortable as kind of flipping it around, holding it like, I guess like a badminton racket and hit that button with your thumb it's just it's just great it's just great and clicky and responsive I'm honestly not in love with the little jog wheel up and down. It doesn't like bother me. I don't find it offensive in any way, but I kind of would have preferred maybe some buttons, maybe some up down buttons for adjusting instead of this wheel. The wheel works fine and I get why the wheel needs to be there because they wanted this to look like a Honda engine. Overall, it's just got a really rugged, sort of tough feeling, durable feel to it. I've dropped it multiple times, left little scuffs marks on it, had no damage to anything, no damage to the battery door, no damage to the screen, no bit damage to even this little plastic flippy jog wheel here. As far as the juice that appears in the bottom, let's have a look right now, and yeah, there's fucking juice there. Sorry, I didn't mean to use an obscenity, but there's serious, look, I can prove it. You'll be able to see that in the light. You see this juice right here. You just saw me wipe it off in the uppy closey and it's back. And I don't know. I literally have no idea where it's coming from. And I don't know if this happens on all of them, but it has happened on mine since I got it. And I don't believe it to be any sort of machine oil or anything like that in here. If I, if I wipe it and I smell it and I taste it, it, it tastes sweet. It tastes sweet like juice. So there is juice somehow going from the 510 down the mod to the bottom and kind of collecting on this battery door. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. I don't know if anybody else's V200 is doing that. Mine does it constantly. And like I said, it hasn't got in the way of anything. It hasn't got in the way of the performance. I haven't had any shorts or weird anything going on with it. It's just a little bit of tiny condensed liquid that happens at the bottom of the battery door. And I don't know. I genuinely have no idea how it gets there or, or what causes that. And if there was a con to this, it, it would be that. That would be the con to it. I don't wanna see juice in my battery door. I don't wanna see liquid where there shouldn't be liquid, especially so far away from the atomizer. It's just so bizarre. But honestly, as soon as I grab this, as soon as I click that button, and as soon as I take a big old pull on it, I completely forget about the little liquid in the battery door because I'm so focused on how high performance this mod feels. So are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you want one of these Aug Vape V200s? Eh, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from about 55 to $60, which is, I mean, fairly reasonably priced for just a dual 18650 regulated straight wattage box mode. This box mode. Box mod. Box mode? This box mode here, it doesn't do uh, temperature control either, which is perfect for me. I am a wattage vapor and this is just a straight wattage, high wattage, high performance mod and it, and it suits me and the way that I like to vape so well. Just, j just the most well, the, the really very well. I feel like I'm using the race car of mods when I'm using this Vape V200. It's just, I know I've said it a lot and I'm gonna say it again. 
it's a high performance mod. All right, so if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have no vape gear. Is the Ogvape V200 something I would seek out and buy? God, I really wanna say yes. It's just, it's just so much fun to use. I've really intensely enjoyed using this. I'm not in love with the mystery liquid on the battery door. If that could somehow get remedied, like if Ogvape came out with the V200 uh, no liquid door version, I would be on it uh, in a heartbeat, in an instant. But because of that liquid on the door thing, it kind of makes me go, ah, ah, ah. And, and running the risk of repeating myself, it's not a deal breaker, it's just, it's just so bizarre. But I like it, I, I love how high performance it is, I'm going to continue using this, and I think for about 50 bucks, 50 to 60 bucks, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty screaming deal. If you're a temp control person, then this is not, 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 not going to be the mod for you. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna throw some links down in the description to where you can check this out if you are interested, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.